In 1944, in a Nazi death camp, Nazi scientist Klaus Schmidt witnesses a young Erich Lenscher bend a metal gate with his mind when he is separated from his parents. In his office, Schmidt orders Lenscher to move a coin on his desk and kills the boy's mother when Lenscher cannot. In grief and anger, Lenscher's magnetic power manifests, killing two guards and destroying the room. Meanwhile, at a mansion in Westchester County, New York, child telepath Charles Xavier meets young shapeshifter Raven, whose natural form is blue-skinned and scaly. Overjoyed to meet someone different like himself, he invites her to live with his family as his foster sister. In 1962, Lenscher is tracking down Schmidt while Xavier graduates from the University of Oxford. In Las Vegas, CIA officer Maura McTaggart follows U.S. Army Colonel Hendry into the Hellfire Club where she sees Schmidt, now known as Sebastian Shaw, with mutant telepath Emma Frost, cyclone-producing Riptide, and teleporter Azazel. Threatened by Shaw and teleported by Azazel to the Joint War Room, Hendry advocates deployment of nuclear missiles in Turkey. Shaw, an energy-absorbing mutant whose powers have de-aged him, later kills Hendry. McTaggart, seeking Xavier's advice on mutation, takes him and Raven to the CIA where they convince Director McCone that mutants exist and Shaw is a threat. Another CIA officer sponsors the mutants and invites them to the secret Division X facility. McTaggart and Xavier find Shaw as Lencher is attacking him and rescue Lencher from drowning, while Shaw escapes. Xavier brings Lencher to Division X where they meet young scientist Hank McCoy, who believes Raven's DNA may provide a cure for their appearance. Xavier uses McCoy's mutant locating device, Cerebro, to seek recruits against Shaw. Xavier and Lenscher recruit stripper Angel Salvador, cabbie Armando Munoz, army prisoner Alex Summers, and runaway Sean Cassidy. They all create nicknames and Raven dubs herself Mystique. When Frost meets with a Soviet general in the USSR and uses her telepathic powers to pretend to have sex with him, Xavier and Lencher capture Frost and discover that Shaw intends to start World War III that will trigger mutant ascendancy and the extinction of the human race. Azazel, Riptide, and Shaw attack Division X, killing everyone but the mutants, whom Shaw invites to join him. Salvador accepts. When Summers and Munoz retaliate, Shaw kills Munoz. In Moscow, Shaw compels the general to have the USSR install missiles in Cuba. Wearing a helmet that blocks telepathy, Shaw follows the Soviet fleet in a submarine to ensure the missiles break a US blockade. Raven, thinking McCoy is attracted to her in her natural form, tells him not to use the cure. When she later attempts to seduce Lencher by taking the forms of various women, Lencher tells her she is beautiful as she is, in her natural mutant form. McCoy uses the cure on himself, but it backfires, giving him blue fur and lion-like aspects. With McCoy piloting, the mutants and McTaggart take a jet to the blockade line where Xavier uses his telepathy to influence a Soviet sailor to destroy the ship carrying the missiles, and Lencher uses his magnetic power to lift Shaw's submarine from the water and deposit it on land. During the ensuing battle, Lencher seizes Shaw's helmet, allowing Xavier to immobilize Shaw. Lencher tells Shaw he shares Shaw's exclusivist view of mutants, but to avenge his mother, kills Shaw over Xavier's objections by forcing the Nazi coin from his childhood through Shaw's brain. Fearing the mutants, both fleets fire missiles at them, which Lencher turns back in mid-flight. McTaggart tries to stop Lencher by shooting him, but he deflects the bullets, one of which hits Xavier in the spine. Lencher rushes to help Xavier, and distracted, allows the missiles to fall harmlessly into the ocean. Parting with Xavier over their differing views on the relationship between mutants and humans, Lencher leaves with Salvador, Azazel, Riptide, and Mystique. Later, a wheelchair-bound Xavier and his mutants are at the mansion, where he intends to open a school. McTaggart promises never to reveal his location, and they kiss. When they kiss, Xavier uses his powers and erases their memories from her mind. Elsewhere, Lencher frees Frost from confinement. I prefer... Magneto.